Hey, hey guys, Ken Smith, Ken Smith Fishing. If you uh, run a TH Marine Atlas jack plate and suddenly your gauge that tells you what level your jack plate is up and down quits reading, this is probably the culprit. So this is a little piece that mounts inside of the jack plate that goes up and down with the jack plate and there's a reader here and it's basically it works off of a magnet. I'm going to show you something that's important to know in this in just a second. But probably what has happened is, as what's happened with mine, that little piece has broken. Now in this case, it was still attached. The two screws were in there, but when I pulled it off, it fell apart. So let me show you where this is, how to get to it, and one little trick to fixing it. And uh, by the way, this is a, I don't know why TH Marine can't make this out of something better than plastic. Obviously, I'm not a TH Marine guy, uh, but uh, luckily it's a warranty piece, and I can't imagine that's more than a couple dollar piece, even if you're outside of warranty. So let me show you how to fix this real quick. Okay, I'm kind of squatted over here, but to fix this, this little piece is down here inside the jack plate. So to get to it, the first thing you got to do is raise the motor. Okay, so now that we've raised the motor, there is the piece that has broken. So what I have done, well, I'll show you what I did, but this little piece right here is the sensor, and this is the piece that's the sender or the, the piece that this is sensing. So let me show you the trick to this. Uh, in this case, I'm actually using, rather than a screwdriver, I'm using a different piece. Okay, so what happens is when that piece breaks, it gets loose. I know that's really hard to see, but mine was barely dangling in there, and when it gets loose, it can't read off the other end. The key to doing this, so if you look at this part, let me back it up a little bit. If you look at this part, it looks like it's interchangeable. Well, in fact, it's not. You see this end, there's nothing. Excuse me, this end, there's nothing. And on this end, there's some little tiny, tiny, tiny little dots right there. You need that part to be facing the boat because that's actually it would be, see it's gonna be this way, so it'd be this way. You need this part facing because there's a little piece of metal or something in here. This is read off a magnet. So by that being in there, that going up and down, it allows it to read. So mount the plane end to the jack plate, leave that in for that magnet to read that bit. Stuff. Can we All right. zoom in real close? Or? So just whatever you can do. So remember, this is the part. Have you ever done this? I don't know what it is. So this is the jack plate reader. Yeah, I never put mine on. I seriously never have. I've got it sitting in the garage. All right. I just turn around and look. So it's when you do it, the far. key to it is that's the plane side. That end's got a piece of metal in it, and it reads off a magnet. Yep. So, all right. So again, that end goes towards the boat, towards the reader, and you just match it up on there. Cowboys are not about to cover, I see you poking it. They're not about to cover their 31 point spread. Good night. They playing bags? Oh, I don't even know who the Razorbacks got beat by yesterday. I didn't even look. Well, they get the Aggies next weekend. I'm glad I don't have a boat to make a bet with you on this year. <laughs> I don't know that I would take it. <laughs> I wouldn't. All right, so come here and let me show, show right here. All right, so you see there's the sensor. Come over here. There's your sensor and that magnet's right in there. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna adjust this. And basically what I have figured out from doing this once already is you want it all the way right there and you wanna bring it up. So when the motor's lifted, you'll see it reads at 20. So let me snug it down. By the way, do not over snug this or you'll have another one of these and you'll be ordering another part. <laughs> you'll be rolling the jack plate all the way up when you're ready. It should be all the way up. Okay. <laughs> What's the jack plate gauge reading up there, Brian? He's probably going to give you a letter. All right, run it down. Instead of a number. It's over on the left. It says high. It's fine. Run it all. Start running it down. All right, it ain't reading it. Bring it back up. I'll probably put it on there backwards. Uh-huh. Did you film Hollis' birth with this? Hmm? Did you film Hollis' birth with this camera? Uh, no, it was not allowed. <laughs> I did get him just after though with the camera, with the iPhone. Yeah, I did. I hope I did. You should put that on backwards. 
after telling everybody be sure, mm -hmm. to be sure and you do it this way. It adds to the length of the video though, so yes, maybe it yeah. keeps more dramatic. It makes it realistic. Right. Because let's be honest, everybody's gonna put it on backwards. No, I put it on right. Weird is it shouldn't be reading anything. Turn the power off, Brian. Yeah. Everybody knows Ken Smith fishing code. One, two, three, four off. Yeah, Still a boat now. <laughs> okay. Back on or one, two, one, two, three, four on. See what it does. No, hit start. Don't start it. Just hit start. There you go. Okay, it's not reading. That's what we want right there. So, by the way, what you didn't see is you want the, the trim gauge reading nothing from this piece of no. So, the trim gauge is actually not the trim gauge, I'm sorry, the jack plate gauge, which is that gauge very, very bottom left. So, we're going to install this dude on here. We are recording, aren't we? Yeah. That's what the blank and red light means, right? Yeah. Lefty, loosey, righty, tidy. By the way, when we're done with this video, we're going to go in and I'm going to show you how to put together a target crib. How old tall is six weeks? No, he'll be eight weeks Monday. Damn, Lord. Yeah, I told so him he's, that. He's a whole month older. I told him that you were coming over, so I said, you're going to get to meet the guy whose son kick fishing for the next 20 years. Probably. He's excited. <laughs> he got really excited. Yeah, your dad will live vicariously through him. All right, so I tightened it, but I didn't snug it. So we're reading it at 20. Yep. So bring it down. 19, 18, 17, 16, next number is 13. It should get, go all the way down. It should get two or one at the bottom. Okay, there we go. All, all right. the way to one. We're right where we want to be, all the way down. Bring it back up. So please. Please. So the key to getting that, so if yours quits calibrating, it could have just come loose. And the key to doing that is just messing with this so that when it's in the all the way upright position, it's reading 20. Now I can go ahead and tighten it up, but again, don't over tighten it. Just make it snug. And your TH Marine should be fixed. And I think I'm buying a spare one of these because uh, might as well have one. So there you go. That's how you fix your TH Marine jack plate. Let's show them what the assembly actually looks like put together there, Brian. By the way, if the camera work was done poorly, it was done by Brian O'Connor and Aggie, so that would explain why. It would be Reed O'Connor. Oh, sorry, Reed O'Connor, that's right. Son of Brian, same thing. 